I'm back with my buddy, uh, housewife and entrepreneur, Bethany Frankel, and uh, we're helping couples navigate crossroads in their relationships. Joining us now, uh, Monica and her boyfriend, Brandon. Monica, tell us what's going on. Brandon and I have been together now for four years, well, almost four years. We've been living in the same house for two and a half years and officially together for three and a half, and I'm ready to take the next step in our relationship, and I just don't feel like he's there yet. I'm just ready to take the next step, and if he's not ready, I'm gonna have to move on. Ooh. H how old are you both? I'm 27, and he's 28. 28. So you feel, you believe in that something has to happen for something to happen. You're, you're gonna make a move. Something's gonna change right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Interesting. Yes. But you've been the girl that's been sweating him and like pressuring him about the engagement. You're that girl right now? I have been. On our uh, second anniversary, I had told him that I was, you know, hoping that by our third anniversary, there would be a ring there. And... Interesting. I've been uh, pressuring a little bit. Hey, Brandon, let me ask you, what, any reason why you haven't proposed? I'm not necessarily one to just jump into things. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, Walked right into that one. Man. I come from a divorce background, uh, as well as Monica's parents. And uh, one thing I never really wanted to do was, you know, have that same type of relationship. I feel like marriage is something that should be forever. And if it does take a little bit more time, then, you know, that's something that, I'm willing to do. I like that. I'm sorry, I really like that. Brett, let me ask something. Is there anything else that's holding you back? So, I want to be financially stable. And I don't want to raise, you know, I don't want to have a wife and raise children not being financially stable. Uh, I grew up with four other siblings and we were house poor growing up, where literally we would mark the line on the milk and if someone drank the milk that wasn't, the, their name was associated with it, there'd be a fight. Wow. And, I you know, love him. I don't oh, want to be... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. She said, I love him. I do. I, but I, I love him. I, I do, too. Yeah. I do, too. <laughs> I <Sorry>. don't. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, because the whole milk story is not going <laughs> to sell you give a thing? damn. You know, I don't know how many people have been pulled before. <laughs> we, we, I done had tap water on Frosted Flakes. What, <laughs> wasn't no damn line, wasn't no milk. I, I think he's a great guy. I think he's being honest and forthright. And I think all of the reasonings that he's using for not being married, he's justified in feeling that way. He's not saying he's not going to be married. He's just saying he's not ready to get engaged. Are you saying we're going to be together? I'm not screwing with you. We're not living together. We are going to be together yes. forever. Right, so he's just waiting to get the right ring, the right no. time. Yes. No. Yes. No, he, no, all right. No, no. See, 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 when you're he, gonna do that, you get a ring. We as men, we do what we want to do, and we do it when we got to do it. But we as women want the ring more than anything else, so we don't think about the whole picture. We go, get the ring, I got to get the ring. She go, get the ring. When are you getting the ring? What size is the ring? How big is the ring? What color is the ring? We want the ring, and we don't think about everything else. Well, and y'all ain't going to stop. Y'all ain't going to stop that, But though. men think more logically. OK, you cool. You said think like a man. Men think more logically. But act like a lady. Y'all ain't going to never stop acting like ladies. Think like a man. She can think like a man to figure out what his move is. He don't want to jump into nothing. Let's see. Okay, listen. I'm talking to her as if this is my daughter. Go. You don't want to jump into nothing, but you ain't got no problem jumping in her bed. What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. People have sex on the third date, the sixth date. You could jump in someone's bed. You have to marry them. Gotta, no, no, no. So but you're about? living together for three years. What are we playing house for? But it's also 2015. Right. You have Thank to you. know if you're going to be able to get along with somebody. Let me, uh, OK, and let me say this, Becca. If you don't know after three I agree. years but he does that you know. don't know whether you want to live with somebody or not, you should yeah. move. Yeah, absolutely. Think so? And right. I bet that's what But I think he wants to spend the rest of his life. He's just waiting for the right moment to get engaged because engagement means the, the train's going. You got to pay for a wedding. You get in the band. You get in the flowers. You get in the ring. The train has left here's, the station. Here's, here's the problem. Life is not set up for us to line up all our ducks in a row before we make a move. Somebody got to jump. That's what life requires constantly. You started a business. 
because you're not gonna work for somebody, so you jump. Right. You didn't have all the money to start the business. You didn't have all there the contacts. There does have to be a jumping point. There's gotta be a point. You got to. Uh, can I say balls on TV? Yeah. You... Grab your balls. You know what I mean? There's gotta be a point where you grab your yeah, balls. That's better than nuts. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, anything you wanna say though? What, 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 do, what do you think? Yes, actually, there is. Yeah. <laughs> you mean the world to me, and I told you that you would get this moment, and I would make it very special for you, and I want you to spend the rest of my life with me. Monica, will you marry me? <laughs> it's a season of surprises. This is Steve Harvey's show. And I'm gonna provide all the liquor for that wedding. This one. I am. And I'm gonna wait till I tell her. She said yes. <laughs> and <laughs> Bethany just said she's gonna supply all the liquor for the wedding. Yes, and the bride. We want to say a special thanks to our friends at Overstock.com for the Nori engagement ring. And thanks to all my guests, especially Bethany Frankel. We'll be right back. That was a great job. <laughs>